हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिस सेशन इन अर्लियर सेशंस वी हैव सीन रिगार्डिंग द स्लो सैंड फिल्ट्रेशन एंड रैपिड सैंड फिल्ट्रेशन सो देर आर अगेन वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ फिल्टर्स आर देयर दो सब्सिक्वेंटली वी आर गोइंग टू सी रिगार्डिंग द प्रेशर फिल्टर्स और अदर मल्टी मल्टी मीडिया फिल्टर्स आर देयर सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट दोज सो इन दिस सेशन स्पेशली वी आर अगेन फोकसिंग ऑन द फिल्ट्रेशन मेकेनिज्म how the filtration works on and also we will uh, try to touch the the concept head loss or uh, negative head loss in case of filtration process now sometimes uh, um, in the filtration process when the rate of filtration goes on decreasing and it is because of the clogging of the layers uh, because of the uh, seals or uh, the particles which are uh, screened or filtered by the media so that goes on um, clogging these particular layers and that reflects on decreasing the layer the filtration rate of that uh, filter unit so this again this will require again more head to filter the water so it all these things are uh, related to the head loss so we must understand so when the back washing of the filter is to be carried out so a skilled engineer he will always keep on uh, watch on the filtration rate of the unit standard rate and accordingly he will plans the back washing of the sand filter so uh, once again today we'll have the initially focus on the various uh, filtration concepts and uh, we'll try to see what kind of uh, numerical examples are there we'll touch that but uh, in the coming session we will uh, detail in detail more elaborate all those uh, examples so filtration process as uh, we have seen filtration is a solid liquid separation process in uh, which the liquid passes through a porous medium uh, to remove as much of fine suspended solids as possible okay locations of the filtration tanks in the water treatment filtration tanks are used in all types of water treatment plants except for uh, disinfection treatment plants now various uh, figures from 1 to 4 uh, uh, illustrating the location of the filtration tanks now you can see uh, this particular uh, layout or a flow diagram which is uh, especially for a uh, water source which is adopted as a river okay so you can see the pre sedimentation is taken the screening is carried out coagulation flocculation sedimentation and it is followed up by the filtration so here we have to understand where is the location of the filtration there of the disinfection storage and then distribution this is a normal uh, uh, flow diagram is there now again depending upon the water source that you are adopting so there may be some possible changes in the flow diagram now you can see here in this particular the surface water uh, so water source is used there the screening is carried out coagulation flocculation sedimentation again followed by the filtration okay the same process is there disinfection storage distribution so this is the uh, normal flow itself again normal flow diagram is there then sometime a softening uh, treatment plant uh, single stage softening is also provided so uh, because of the the hardness which is present or the tds which are present in the ground water now here the source is a ground water is which is used so in that rapid mixing flocculation sedimentation recarbonation here okay this uh, this is the change you can observe and followed by the filtration disinfection storage and distribution so depending upon how which water source you are going to use uh, accordingly uh, we have to change the flow or you can say change the units now again here the ground water well is used a, for a portable water treatment plant aeration sedimentation filtration then disinfection storage distribution so especially uh, sometimes it is necessary to provide a unit there as a for a uh, aeration treatment plant especially here um, for uh, it is provided very effectively to remove the iron and manganese uh, uh, from the water source 
now why the filtration is required that we have also seen but uh, uh, settling is not sufficient to remove all the particles particles and flocks from the water in the sedimentation process right so that's why filtration is needed for the fine particles not removed by the sedimentation filters can also capture uh, uh, gardia seeds then uh, viruses and asbestos uh, asbestos fibers so uh, this is effective because uh, after some time when the filtration use it forms some uh, layer and uh, that layer we have seen as well as we have uh, seen the concept of that layer also how the layer is forming so uh, that is uh, working as the reason to remove all these viruses and all these things typical overflow qualities of a sed sediment from the sedimentation tank ranges from 1 to 10 ntu and filtration usually rapid uh, sand filtration is then employed for the further polishing that is uh, to get the turbidity to lower than 0.5 ntu as required by the uh, the laws rapid and sand filtration after uh, prior sedimentation sedimentation is the most common configuration worldwide okay so this is important thing regarding the filtration unit in the water uh, sequence water treatment sequence then uh, we have also seen the various types of uh, filters the granular material filters are uh, the most used types of filters in the water treatment usually sand anthracite and garnet these are the materials which are common there are three types of uh, granular filters you can say single medium filters uh, one type of media is used either sand or anthracite and then dual media filters are there mm, two types of uh, media is used uh, usually sand and anthracite and multimedia filters are also there as i was saying earlier three types of media are used usually sand anthracite and garnet most common filters in the water treatment are rapid sand filters okay then uh, let's discuss some again uh, regarding the geometry and the components of a rapid sand filter rapid sand filters are always rectangular tanks uh, now which the figures we are going to see so that will give the idea regarding the rapid um, sand filter used in the water treatment especially the components are uh, concrete tank filter media under drain system backwash system pressurized water and uh, air lines that we have seen earlier as well okay so uh, this is a cross section of the filter that we have seen regarding the how the layers are there how the backwashing is carried out okay how clear water is collected okay we have seen also the functions of all these walls in the rapid sand filter then uh, this particular figure is showing the rapid sand filter components with the gravel and uh, the perforated pipe under drain system okay you can uh, see this uh, this particular figure so when the backwashing is there uh, the reverse water is uh, sent to this layers which will remove the water from this wash troughs and send it outside right and when the filtration is on okay this perforated pipes uh, takes this uh, uh, water to the clear water zone then this is also a pictorial view of a uh, rapid sand filter showing the components so which is uh, with the gravel and perforated pipes under drain system okay the same has been shown here you can see here the washed water troughs are there which are provided under drain system so we have thoroughly seen earlier also so as a revision uh, we are discussing here so these are the various layers which are present for the uh, filtration purpose okay uh, in the rapid sand filter again how the filtration uh, pipes are provided under drain system this is also one of the view of the pipe that we have seen earlier okay so this is the drainage system or you can say the perforated pipes are provided here under drains are provided here okay and this is the filter media then uh, this one also is showing the the ducts which are used as a under drain system so the various views are seen here to understand the concept so you can see here how the wash water troughs are provided here how the media is uh, this uh, available filtering media is available there and you can see in this particular picture uh, this uh, central drain this is a cross section which is uh, showing the how the, uh, the filter media is acting there 
so you can see the layer of filter sand then anthracite medium is there okay wash water troughs you can see provided here and this is the different uh, heights have been shown here that we have already seen and this is the under drain system here it is okay so this is the cross section how uh, filter media is provided then uh, uh, filtration uh, in the water treatment actually how the nozzles are also provided sometimes the nozzles are provided to give the um, uh, you can say the air bubbles and to remove the clogging of the different layers you can see that this person is working there to put this all these uh, nozzles under for the uh, under drain system so instead of providing the perforated pipes sometimes what is done these uh, uh, nozzles are provided you can see and so that a pressurized air can be sent to this right compressed air and the clogging of the different layers that will be removed okay so this is you can see a view of these nozzles how the nozzles are you can see the this particular uh, perforations are there okay which are fixed on a, on a pipe system okay so this can be uh, changed as well right you can see the thread systems is provided here right then uh, we will have the glance on the operation of the uh, rapid side filter that uh, there are two modes of the operation of uh, rapid side filter the filtration mode and the back washing mode that we have seen earlier so wash water um, flows downward through a bed or sand gravel particles are captured on uh, and between the sand, uh, sand grains filtered water is collected in the drain under drain and sent to the disinfection in the backwash is made exactly vice versa sand is backwashed when it is becomes clogged or turbidity of the filter water gets too high okay as i said that if the turbidity increases so let to go for the backwashing so during backwash water is pumped upwards through the sand bed now sand bed becomes the fluidized and the particles are flushed from the sand dirty backwash water is uh, pumped into a settled pond settling pond and either recycled back into the plant or disposed backwashing can consume 1 to 5% of a plant's production okay you can see the sand filter during the filtration process okay so when the filter filtration process is on how the this uh, sand filter looks this particular photograph shows then in the backwash system okay how the muddy water is observed okay and how the wash water troughs are removing the this particular muddy water it is visible in this particular photographs now the filter media properties so that should be a well graded remember the cross section is shown that uniformly graded uh, coarse or to fine sand from top to bottom here where different layers are there right now the uh, filter media grain distribution again the various layers if are forming so that will help the effective uh, filtration now in the uh, filtration other these filters uh, uh, use sand air crushed anthracite coal on a gravel uh, base media layers are uh, arranged uh, in a course to find gradation in direction of flow which allows greater depth of uh, penetration of the flock particles uh, multimedia filters are selected with specific gravity so that moderate intermixing between media layers occurs during the back washing okay now again i will focus on the how the uh, this filter media works that we have seen also all this uh, formulation as well the filter media is characterized by the two main parameters that is effective size and uniformity coefficient effective size of the filter media uh, the effective size of the filter media is a diameter that 10% of the filter media is less than its size and denoted as a d10 right uniformity of the coefficient of the filter media so that uh, u is calculated as d60 by d10 where what is d60 the uh, sieve size that passes 60% by weight and uh, d10 sieve size that passes 10% by weight so d6 and d10 are found by sieve analysis of the media to be used in the filter another important uh, sieve size is uh, d90 that is also used to calculate the backwash rate 
So here uh, you can see the different uh, layers, how we, these are used in the liquid side filter. The, this particular anthracite, sand, okay, gravel, it is visualized here. Sometimes the total anthracite uh, layer is used. Okay, in the, in the multi, uh, in the sand media filter, how the layers are used. Effectively, it is seen here. Right? Uh, mm, maximum uh, depth of the anthracite is observed in these particular layers. Okay, then again, uh, in the coming lectures also we will have to see regarding the uh, various filter characteristics of the water treatment and in that also, uh, we will have to, when you are using any me uh, medium for the filtration purpose, so we will have to see regarding its effective size, uniformity coefficient, the depth of that. So all these things that uh, we have seen and what is the filtration rate is maintained. So that is also very important. So in the subsequent lectures, we are going to focus on all these uh, particular values. Okay. Similarly, it is in the dual media filter characteristics. These values are going to change regarding the filtration rate as well as the, the ranges of this particular depth and the effective size of these particles that go, goes on changing. Okay, same thing is uh, in the mixed multimedia filter as well. Now again, uh, uh, head loss uh, that we are discussing regarding the is an uh, important aspect which is uh, uh, associated with this. This particular uh, figure shows how the in the time versus the head loss which is present in the filter and uh, if you how the effluent turbidity uh, increase with that uh, time during the uh, filtration. So the on the, the same axis, the turbidity has been also shown here. So as the time passes, right, the, you can see here, as the time passes, the turbidity goes on increasing and subsequently you can observe on the other head loss. Okay, this head loss, that also goes on increasing. Okay, so we have to keep uh, keen watch on this. So when to carry out the back wash and uh, and there is a different formulations, different scientist has given to calculate this head loss. So that also we are going to uh, see in the subsequent lectures. Okay. So uh, you can see here uh, in this particular cross section. So the head loss in a rapid sand filter during the filtration cycle. So you can see uh, here the different uh, parameters which are observed with this. So here you can see especially. Uh, in this formulation, this uh, particular total, okay, P by gamma, then HL and V square by 2G, uh, which is uh, uh, important to study regarding the, the head loss of uh, in the filter. Then, in the rapid sand filter, the head loss operation or you can say the head loss calculation and the back washing of the, the filter media. So that is very necessary to understand because uh, the filtration rate of the uh, rapid, rapid sand filter that goes on affecting very fastly. So different uh, scientists have given their uh, various uh, formulation. So today we are not going in detail in this, but then Karman Kozengi given equation uh, regarding the calculation of the head loss. Similarly, the scientist Rose also given one formulation to calculate the head loss in a uh, clean filter. Mm -hmm. So, so this terminology will have the separate lecture on this, how to calculate the head loss. So, these are the, the various examples of the salt. So, we are, today we are not going to focus on all this. So, we will solve the examples one by one. Okay, so this is also one more formulation to calculate the head loss. So, what is the terminology of this and that we are going to see in the coming lectures how to calculate the head loss by using the various parameters uh, or what parameters are given, how we can calculate the head loss that we are going to see, right. Then uh, as we are seeing when you are discussing the head loss, we have to understand the filtration hydraulics calculation. So we have seen the Bernoulli's equation, okay, that uh, by using the Bernoulli's equation also the head loss can be calculated. So that also we are going to see in the uh, coming lecture. So this is a different formulation, okay, which is uh, by the Bernoulli's equation, okay. So arriving at the final form formulation. So here, this particular formulation is the back uh, wash flow rate to be calculated by using this particular equation. So how we are going to use this equation? So we'll dedicate uh, 
few lectures to understand all this mechanism okay then when the back washing is carried out there is a filter or against the various layers those go on expanding okay so the expansion of uh, those layers during the back wash is carried out by the different formulation so that formulation that also we have to study okay so associated uh, uh, head loss in the filter back wash as well that there is also one formulation okay so that also we are going to study okay so uh, all these particular numerical examples that uh, we are going to see in the coming lectures uh, but uh, today's intention was to uh, give the idea regarding the what is the uh, this filtration mechanism is there and uh, also what is actually head loss which is associated with this when the backwash is to be carried out so so in coming lectures again we are focusing all these uh, various aspects but uh, the, the, we'll have to focus on the numerical examples as well because there are various formulations uh, which are given by the different uh, scientists so when when those particular formulas are to be applied so that we'll see in the coming lectures so thank you very much uh, for joining this session